Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at RDS backups and snapshots. There are two types of RDS backups, automated backups and database snapshots. By default, RDS creates automated backups of your DB instance, and saves them securely in Amazon S3 for a user-specified retention period. You can also manually create database snapshots, which are user-initiated backups of your instance that are kept until you explicitly delete them. Automated backups are turned on by default. RDS automatically backs up your databases and transaction logs. RDS automatically creates a storage volume snapshot of your DB instance, backing up the entire DB instance and not just individual databases. Automated backups occur daily during a configurable 30-minute backup window. Automated backups are kept for the backup retention period that you've defined. You can set the backup retention period to between 0 and 35 days. You can restore the DB instance to a specific point in time during the backup retention period, creating a new DB instance. Automated backups occur daily during a configurable 30-minute backup window. You can specify the backup window when you create the DB instance. If you don't specify the preferred backup window, RDS assigns the default 30-minute backup window. If the backup requires more time than allotted to the backup window, the backup continues after the window ends, until the backup is complete. The backup window cannot overlap with the weekly maintenance window for the DB instance. During the automatic backup window, storage I.O. might be suspended briefly while the backup process initializes, typically under a few seconds. There might be elevated latencies for a few minutes during backups for multi-AZ deployments. For MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, and PostgreSQL, I.O. activity is not suspended on the primary DB instance, during backup for multi-AZ deployments, because the backup is taken from the standby DB instance. For SQL Server, IO activity is suspended briefly during backup for multi-AZ deployments. When you create a DB instance, you can set backup retention period to between 0 and 35 days. If you don't set the backup retention period, the default backup retention period is one day, if you create the DB instance using the RDS API or the AWS CLI. The default backup retention period is 7 days, if you create the DB instance using the AWS console. After you create a DB instance, you can modify the backup retention period. You can disable automated backups by setting the backup retention period to zero. You might want to temporarily disable automated backups in certain situations, for example, while loading large amounts of data. You can simple enable automated backups by setting the backup retention period to a positive non-zero value, for example, one day. Point-in-time recovery allows you to restore the DB instance to any specific time during the backup retention period, creating a new DB instance. When automated backups are turned on for your DB instance, RDS automatically performs a full daily snapshot of your data. The snapshot occurs during your preferred backup window. It also captures transaction logs, including updates made to the DB instance, and save them in S3 every 5 minutes. Transaction logs are important for point-in-time recovery. When you initiate a point-in-time recovery, transactional logs are applied to the most appropriate daily backup in order to restore your DB instance to the specific time. Point-in-time recovery only works for automated backups enabled DB instance. Database snapshots are user-initiated backups of the DB instance, they are stored in S3. Database snapshots are kept until you explicitly delete them. Unlike automated backups, manual snapshots are not subject to the backup retention period, as they never expire. The first snapshot of a DB instance contains the data for the full DB instance. Subsequent snapshots of the same DB instance are incremental. It means RDS database snapshots only save changes made after the most recent snapshot. You can create a DB instance by restoring from the DB snapshot. You cannot restore from a DB snapshot to an existing DB instance, a new DB instance is created when you restore. You can copy automated or manual DB snapshots. After you copy a snapshot, the copy is a manual snapshot. You can copy a snapshot within the same AWS region or across regions, and you can copy a snapshot across AWS accounts. You can share a manual DB snapshot, whether encrypted or unencrypted, it enables authorized AWS accounts to copy the snapshot. You can directly restore a DB instance from an unencrypted and shared snapshot. To restore an encrypted and shared snapshot, you must copy it first and restore the DB instance from the copy. 
When you restore the DB instance from a snapshot, you cannot restore from a DB snapshot to an existing DB instance. Instead, you create a new DB instance when you restore. If you want to use the same name as the existing DB instance, you must first delete or rename the existing one. You can restore a DB instance and use a different storage type than the source DB snapshot. In this case, the restoration process is slower, because there are additional works required to migrate the data to the new storage type. You cannot restore a DB instance from a shared DB snapshot that is encrypted, instead, you make a copy of the DB snapshot and then restore the DB instance from the copy. AWS recommends that you retain the parameter group for any DB snapshots you create, so that you can associate your restored DB instance with the correct parameter group. You can specify the parameter group when you restore the DB instance. When you restore a DB instance, the default security group is associated with the restored instance by default. As soon as the restore is complete and your new DB instance is available, you can associate any custom security groups used by the snapshot you restored from. You can restore a DB instance from DB snapshot across regions by copying the snapshot to the destination region and restoring the DB snapshot to a new DB instance in this region. RDS backup storage for each region is composed of the automated backups and database snapshots for that region. Total backup storage space equals the sum of the storage for all backups in that region. Copying a DB snapshot to another region can increase the size of the backup storage in the destination region. Automated backups and database snapshots are stored in Amazon S3. You can choose to retain automated backups when you delete a DB instance, the automated backups are saved for the full retention period. Otherwise, all automated backups are deleted with the DB instance. After automated backups are deleted, they cannot be recovered. Manual snapshots are not deleted when you delete a DB instance. You can choose to have RDS create a final DB snapshot before it deletes your DB instance. You can use it to recover your DB instance. This gives a safeguard against accidental deletions. RDS allows you to have up to 100 manual snapshots per region. Backup storage is free for up to 100% of your total database storage for a region. For example, if you have a DB instance with 500 GB of provisioned database storage, you get a 500 GB backup storage for free. Backups and snapshots of an encrypted DB instance are also encrypted. DB instances restored from encrypted backups and snapshots are also encrypted. You cannot share an encrypted snapshot to another account if it's encrypted using the default KMS key. You can copy a snapshot that has been encrypted using an AWS KMS Customer Master Key or CMK, and then share the copy with the target account. If you copy an encrypted snapshot, the copy of the snapshot is also encrypted. If you copy an encrypted snapshot in the same AWS region, you can encrypt the copy with the same KMS key as the original snapshot, or you can specify a different KMS key. If you copy an encrypted snapshot across regions, you must use a different KMS key specific for the destination region. You can also encrypt a copy of an unencrypted snapshot, so that you can quickly add encryption to a previously unencrypted DB instance, by restoring this encrypted copy. In this episode, we've learned RDS automated backups and database snapshots. By default, RDS creates automated backups of your DB instance and saves them securely in S3 for a user-specified retention period. Automated backups occur daily during a configurable 30-minute backup window. Automated backups are kept for the backup retention period between 0 and 35 days. You can restore a DB instance from an automated backup to a specific point in time during the backup retention period, creating a new DB instance. You can also manually create database snapshots, which are user-initiated backups of your instance that are kept until you explicitly delete them. DB snapshots never expire until you explicitly delete them. You can create a DB instance by restoring from the DB snapshot. You can copy a snapshot in same region, across regions, and across AWS accounts. Okay, that's all for RDS backups and snapshots. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!